Hello everybody, Glitch Ripper here. I'm back for another mob battle, and this time I'll be having the uh, giants from Nevermind, aka okay, Advent of Ascension, uh, to uh, be going up against an I Iron Golem and the Warden. I thought that things would be a bit too quick otherwise, so I'm gonna go with it this way. Okay, now I can be- okay, I was, try I was trying to adjust my audio so I need to make sure everything was working, so... I had to see if the, I could actually hear the music there. Just trying to make sure that everything was working. Now that that's over, I know that it's working now. There we go. Okay, so now we get on with the mob battle. Uh, now first I'm going to show off the Iron Golem versus all these uh, giants to show that they're pretty tough, just comparably to normal. Now, iron golems are immediately aggressive, so that really helps. And we're starting off with the ice giant. And note that they have some pretty big animations, too. Ah, uh, poor ice golem is chilling. Oh, you were very close. I've seen the ice golem win before. And I've seen, and now I've seen, and I've seen the iron golem win before, so that one... I want to show that is a little bit both ways. It's, apparently, you get frozen more on being attacked. So, okay. I was trying to see if it was on impact or if it was just on its presence, but it does freeze you. So, uh, using the newer dynamic of frostbite, you can totally get it there. In fact, I'm going to show that again just because I want to see uh, the iron golem win around. I've seen it win before. No, the Ice Giant doesn't actually have any issues with the Nether. Huh, that's weird. I've seen it go the other way before. It only had like one hit left. Uh, maybe it's a little less often for it to lose than I first thought. Uh, <laughs> did test things out before. So, okay. Uh, other than being... Uh, there we go. However, now, are you gonna freeze out from that, or are you gonna stabilize? Because I, I do have a little something to help you out with. In between rounds. If, if you survive the frostbite, then it's not a tie. Okay, it's not a tie, so... There we go, a little fast repair. So that was the ice giant, so let's go on to the sand giant. Uh... Well, maybe. I, I don't know. I might want to reorder these in terms of how I think they go. Let's go with the leafy one. <laughs> maybe? And I'm, I'm, I'm torn between them. I'm, I'm gonna go with sand. This thing likes to summon these spikes. And from what I've determined, they don't go away very easily, so any, so any resulting spikes will still be dangerous to other mobs. And so if the iron, uh, if the iron uh, golem doesn't move, it'll still go out. I have a feeling this will result in a lot of ties over time. So you can see that it takes out the sand giant, but the, the sand giant's remaining stuff takes it out. Now, these cannot be struck out in the normal way. And uh, let me just kind of demonstrate how weird this is. See, they just hover in midair, completely invulnerable to anything. Like, I, I can even use this weapon that's supposed to deal a little bit of uh, bonus percentage damage, but it's not uh, it's not moving. Uh, they're kind of entities, but at the same time they kind of act like just objects sitting there. However, I have found something that clears them out and. Uh, it's one of those things where you're going, seriously, that's the only thing? Yeah, it, it's turn it to peaceful and then they clear. Otherwise, nothing does it. So, just say. Now I'm going to move on to another uh, giant versus the golem. Alright, golem. You're up. Let's try the leafy one. The leafy giant has an interesting trick, as you can see there. It suddenly developed a shield. 
thing about it is as long as uh, it has those bush babies around, it'll maintain the shield. And that gives it an advantage on things like an iron golem because they can't hurt it while the shield's up. In fact, it might be able to take down a second one uh, during this time just because of this. Now, if you take out all the bush babies, that's when the shield disappears and it can be damaged again. Until then, it won't do so. Is there another bush baby around here that I'm not seeing? That would be a little unfair if it materialized somewhere else. This can penetrate to a degree, though. Maybe the shield was just displaying. I'm not. I'm not entirely sure. Uh, maybe another round just to figure that part out, or maybe I can strike through the shield with this very particular weapon, which would be very interesting. Okay, the shield's definitely up. I can strike through the shield with this weapon. Either that or you could just do it in creative. I'm not entirely sure which one's which. <laughs> uh, okay. That was just a discovery. Uh, well, sometimes mob battle science happens in the middle of a regular mob battle, so... Fine enough. Uh, <laughs> okay, 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 okay. Gotcha, gotcha. Well, I think I'll be moving on to the wood giant now. And it, it earns its name as well, like the leafy one. It's very tree. <laughs> and as it takes damage, it loses more of its bark. As you can see, it is very strong, too. Kind of. I mean, it did just take down an iron golem. Just to show that that's the more probable result this time, I'm doing things the other way around. The ice giant, I had actually seen it defeated by the iron golem uh, uh, more often before, so that was actually kind of a surprise to me that it won so many times this round. This one, on the other hand. You can tell that it's very tight. But, the wood golem has a bit of an advantage. Now, the really crazy one is the stone giant, however. This thing is huge. It also has a unique method of regenerating that most others don't have. This gives it quite an interesting edge. See these silverfish? They happen every time the stone gold, uh, stone gold, stone giant takes damage. And if they get back to it for long enough, they'll be reabsorbed in and it'll regain health. And it also has a lot of attack power, so in addition to regening off of these, uh, it can just smash things. So the Iron Golem just did not stand much of a chance. However, we also have the Warden to test here, as I was indicating before. Because, as I said, I thought this would be a little too short between them otherwise. Oh, that lag. Uh, I'm not sure if that's from the... Uh, recent versions, or if that's uh, from something else right now. I may have to check a few things. Of course, this is also a still a little experimental on the forge side, so uh, they're working on it. So some incidents, like extreme lag spikes, may result. As we know, the warden is also stupendously aggressive. Although, it doesn't just immediately attack. It has to be angry at first. Which just happens. It 
still got a little frostbite. Huh? I was angry at something below. Oh, this isn't gonna last long. I don't know what it is that's got it mad, but you know if it's obstructed, it'll just fire up. Yeah. I kind of feel sorry for whatever that was. Because <laughs> it just got sonically beamed right through. Like, it's the equivalent of getting shot by Gauss. If you get that reference, thank you, gamer fans. <laughs> okay, and just showing how strong this is, I'm gonna spawn in the wood go uh, the wood giant immediately, without even healing the warden. And it's probably also going to get just completely smashed. You made movement! <laughs> Vibration from movement is a bad thing against them. So goodbye, wood, wood giant. What are you getting hit by? Did you get poisoned? Or something? It's not like the sand giant traps, so what's hitting it? I'm not seeing particle effects. Whatever it is, it's over. Uh, I don't think it was from the ice giant before. <laughs> not entirely sure on that one. Okay, maybe the lag spike is is finally stopped. That would be nice. Anyhow, back to a new warden. Now. Interesting thing is we've also got the Leafy Giant still. Doing these in a slightly different order. Are you Leafy? Hey Leafy, can you do anything here? Well, you can anger a warden, that's good. Just look how fast it's knocking down these minions. It's just one-shotting them each time, so as soon as that shield's down, it will <laughs> Yeah, literally, that was just the last shot it needed. It's like, okay, okay, you're about out. Poof. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> so, he got poofed really good. Now, remember how the stone giant was rather rough? on the Iron Golem before? Well... The Warden has triple the attack power uh, per strike. Oh, he just walked right into him. So that always ticks off the Warden, so... Uh, thanks for that, sir. <laughs> yeah, your healing does not code well against uh, the Warden's immense attack power. And all the minions are already gone before I could even complete that sentence. So yeah, that that that's a lot of a lot of oomph right there. Just overwhelming power from the warden, as is kind of expected. It is a terror unit, not just an elite, a terror unit. These are kind of elites. This is a terror unit. So kind of a a, a bit of a dip a, a bit of a difference there. Now, the last one I'm going to show off is the Sand Giant, because it seems a bit more thoroughly capable of causing ties. Assuming, of course... Yep, yep, yep. I was going to say, it would be nice if it started moving. It's nice doing things here at the top of the nether again, where the ground is indestructible. He's just walking by. Like, uh, okay, I'm just walking here. The warden's like, bad move. <laughs> I'm thinking to summon traps. It got smashed. Now, the warden, will it get angry at anything else nearby and move from that spot before it expires? 
I have a feeling the answer is no. out of there? Is this thing just gonna buzz by the top and get you to move? Or are you just gonna poof? That is kind of rapid damage there. Like, even though the warden has a lot of health, it already took some damage from that. It's gonna expire pretty quickly. It's kind of a little stuck on that spike trap. You have the willpower to move. I don't think so. Unless something can get it interesting enough to walk, just like a block that way. Nope. 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 The answer is no. Uh, now in creative, you could be on top of them and not take damage. But uh, survival, yes, they're very painful, as you can tell from the uh, death of a warden. I mean, you don't see uh, that too terribly often. Oh, well, unless you're using some very wacky items. But that, that, that's going to be a whole other story, of course. But as you can see, I've experimented with this several times. <laughs> so, uh, I may have accumulated a few skull catalysts from the Warden's death from various things I've, I've, I've tested. So, yeah, that, 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 that's the thing. Again, these seem to refuse to clear until uh, basically... Uh, you go into peaceful. Now, I'm wondering one thing. Can I get the chunk to unload and then... Uh, and then have those reset? Is that a thing I can do? So I'm just going to fly backwards for a while. And now I'm going to fly forwards. And I think I've went enough distance to unload the chunk. Maybe I haven't. Okay, so I'm gonna do this a little farther, and then whenever I'm really confident that I've unloaded the chunk, then I will be back. This is a quick experiment. Okay, that shows that there is new ground involved. So maybe if I see if I see the nether fog change for a biome, then I'll just suddenly turn around and it'll probably be unloaded. That's a slightly different fog. Yeah, that's definitely a different fog. Okay. So. 180. Okay, I want to change biomes just to, to have a good possibility that chunks unloaded. So will reloading chunks reset it and cause it to dissipate? I don't know. Otherwise, they're just entities in the world indefinitely until you go with peaceful or possibly just enter and uh, uh, exit and re-enter. Yeah, lips. Well, it's working again, to a degree. Okay. That worked. You can unload the chunk and return. Uh, that that That's still a pretty indefinite property. So, yeah, I think the Sand Giant is the new King of Ties. Like, I'm pretty sure that will be way more of a tie-making thing than the uh, Mutant Creeper's final explosion. Yeah. Or some other big final explosion. Because that just stays there, and if nothing gets off, it's just going to just eventually go. So, that's kind of a thing. Although I'm not sure if I'd really call it the the, the king of t well king of ties yeah emperor of ties no I, I know one that has a much bigger blast that <laughs> would be the emperor of ties uh, <laughs> so that would be that would be a, a a totally different story but for now I, I can uh, say that we've certainly had some interesting moments here with the warden with the giants from Nevermind a again advent of ascension. Uh, but I mean, never mind it's catchy enough and a little shorter to put on a title, so that's definitely going to be putting it for now. So, yeah, uh, you, you've seen the, uh, the Giants versus the Iron Golem and the Warden. 
And, uh, it, this thing at least helped me figure out if they had a few bits left. But still, I've got some strong mobs here, and there's going to be more coming. Because there have been a few mods, uh, including some big ones, that have been updating 1.19 recently. And so there's a good chance that I'll be bringing them in pretty soon. Now, some hasn't synced up with uh, the network for um, uh, ATL yet, but they're still on Curse Forge, so I might be able to do a manual uh, upload uh, that way. Kind of, we'll see. Or I could just wait for them to get more complete. Because some of them are still in the prototype phase, kind of. Like, they're betas. They're not really full version yet. So that, 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 that'll that be a thing. But it, some big name mobs are in that list. So we'll see. We'll see. I mean, you, you can get a hype for some of the classics upcoming. So if you, if you got a few that you're wondering what the warden will be like when it's fighting, that's probably going to happen. For now, this is Glitch Reaper. I'll be logging off. Hope to hear from you more later. So bye for now, and remember everybody, there will be more mob battles.